Hi everyone and welcome to episode 19 of our Configmas 2022. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn about using the Intune management community tool developed by Mika Carlson. Demo time. Before diving into the demo, I have a little story I'd like to share about this tool. About two years ago, in the fall of 2020, I was tasked by one of our customers to implement CIS benchmark guidelines in one of their Intune tenants. And for those of you who haven't heard of CIS benchmark, that's basically a collection of security guidelines that are available for all sorts of platforms, including Windows. I actually have a link here to um, one of the Microsoft resources about the topic, and also that one leads in turn to the different baselines and best practices for all of these different platforms. The challenge back then was that in 2020 or the fall of 2020, there were no guidelines from Intune, but they did have for group policy for legacy Active Directory. So we have to painstakingly reverse them and try to figure out, okay, what would be the equivalent Intune settings? And please remember at that time, there was no full blown settings catalog like we have now. There was no ADMX import. So it was a lot of custom profiles that had to be created. So to keep my sanity, at least as good as I could, I started to script those changes. Because when we're working some of these settings, for example, user rights policy settings, if you do something wrong, you're in a world of pain. So we were testing labs, and when we verified that everything worked, yes, then we did the same settings in production. Of course, with almost 400 settings, doing that manually, it got tiresome after a while. So we started to do scripting. And that's why I stumbled across the very first, like, graph samples library that like Microsoft put together. This library is still very much active and I will share a link to these resources just below the video here. So I, I started to dive into that one and in the device configuration folder, there are a bunch of examples on how to do export and import of, in this case, device configuration profiles. However, after a while in my searches for information, I stumbled across um, Mickey Carlson and a tool that he launched called Intune Management. It was one of the early versions, has been updated many times since, but that tool was basically gold. It, need, it did everything I needed and more to simplify the, the process of creating and testing these profiles. So the tool is available on his GitHub page. So again, I will share the links to this one. This is uh, Mika's Twitter account. Highly recommend following that one for sure. But I have downloaded this tool to a folder. So I'm going to open up a PowerShell prompt. Go to that folder in question. This is the latest version. You can start this tool in a few different ways and you see some command line options available or batch files ready. So I'm going to use the start with console option so I get some output while working with the tool. So now I'm signed in to my tenant. And of course I can switch and sign in with something else. But um, as an example, if I go to device configuration, Sure enough, here I have all the device configuration profiles I have in my tenant. I can go ahead and select a few of them, view them, copy them, compare them. I can go to my autopilot settings and, for example, um, check out this one and make a documentation of it. So I click document and I select the word option and hit start and after a little while, I had a Word document with that particular configuration, in this case, deployment profile. Sure enough, the Word document with all my settings that I have in that profile. And you can document your entire tenant this way. Other things that are extremely useful in the tool is, of course, to just do, if I go back to my profiles again, just do export import because i can export this one i skip the company per name for now i skip the any assignments for now but i specify an export folder 
So I'm going to select this one and export it. And now if I go to that folder, my exports, sure enough, I have advice configuration with that JSON object or that JSON file for all of those settings that were in that particular configuration profile. Other things, you probably know that in Intune you can work with PowerShell script, not just proactive remediation script, but just deploy a script as well. However, when you work with PowerShell scripts in an Intune tenant, so if I go to one of my settings here, let's go to devices, and I'm gonna go to scripts. I have a KMS activation script here. If I go to properties, edit, sure, it says that it was a KMS activation script, but I can't see what it really, what it really did. You can do that through PowerShell. And you can also do that using Mika's tool here. So if I go back to the tool, go down to scripts, I can find the same script here. I can view it and I get the JSON object again, but I can also edit the script. And now I get the core PowerShell functionality or the core content of the PowerShell script. So if I want to change my KMS server to something else, I can go ahead and do that and it goes ahead and update that object for me. Now, obviously, I have to put it back the way it was, otherwise I'll break my KMS script, but you get the idea. Brilliant, brilliant configurations, ready-made options that, I mean, stuff that basically should be in the Intune portal, but isn't. This tool takes care of. Highly, highly recommend, explore, play around, and uh, say thanks to Mick if you ever stumble across him. Amazing tool. That's all for today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Thanks for now. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.